Konnichiwa. Welcome to Japan, the land of the rising sun, samurai, cool game shows, and fast trains. Japan is a country of booze lovers, so it's high time we learned that sake is so 2001, how DNA can mess up your drinking game, and what to do if there's a snake in your spirit. Ready? Let's do it. There are 126 million people in Japan, and 88 million of them drink alcohol. That's almost 70% of the population. Compare that to the United States, where only 51% love an alcoholic beverage at least once a month. Now, sake is considered the national drink of Japan, but its popularity is decreasing. It's largely enjoyed by baby boomers and the Generation X. The ladies mostly grab a shochu or wine, while the lads prefer whiskey. Almost 30 million gallons of whiskey are consumed each year, and more than 70% are made in Japan. In total, the Nipponese consume 2.3 billion gallons of alcohol annually, and more than half of that is spirits. But believe it or not, they're only on the 71st place in alcohol consumption per capita, before Mexico and after Laos. What's more unbelievable, half of the Japanese can't handle much alcohol due to a sick joke of genetics. They lack an enzyme that breaks down alcohol, which in extreme cases makes them turn red and nauseous. Not that the impediment stops them from celebrating stuff by downing drinks, which they call the ikinomi. We just can't imagine the futsukayoi they have the next day. That's a hangover in Japanese. Sake, the symbol of Japan, has been around for 18 centuries, but as we mentioned before, its fan base is shrinking. The king of hearts and bellies is now shochu, a beverage that's similar to sake, except it's distilled instead of brewed. Shochu literally means burned liquor, and it used to be associated with poor rural people until the 1990s when the urban folks realized how tasty it is and pocket-friendly during a recession. By 2001, it overtook sake in sales, and now there's three and a half times more shochu produced each year than all the tequila. There were over 3,000 different versions of shochu, made from a wide array of stuff such as rice, barley, sweet potatoes, and even carrots. The one from sweet potatoes is called Satsuma Imo, and the locals grab every new expression so fast you won't find it outside Japan. If you're turning up your nose and say that you still prefer rice whiskey, here's a fun fact for you. Rice whiskey is actually rice shochu that spent some time in wooden barrels and remained above 40% ABV. You can call it the prequel. Also, it's illegal to call it rice whiskey in Japan and Europe because the process uses koji fungi to convert starches into sugars. The only country that imports the spirit under the name rice whiskey is... USA! USA! The coolest drink you'll find in Japan, though, isn't your granny's sake. It's habushu, also called the Okinawan snake wine by the Westerners. Why? Because there's a literal goddamn snake floating in it. Habushu is an alcoholic beverage made from long-grain indica rice, with a crucial difference. After it's mixed with herbs and honey, they put a habu snake in it, a viper whose bite will make you stumble, vomit, and die. The snake is basically drowned in the liquid, where the alcohol dissolves its venom. The main distributor of habushu uses around 5,000 snakes per year, and some brands even come with the snake still inside the bottle. And why would someone drink such a potion? Well, Habu snakes reportedly mate for up to 26 hours non-stop. So many people believe Habushu helps you boink better. We haven't tested this claim, but let us know if it worked for you. If you find yourself drinking in Japan with Japanese folk, here's a tip. Don't be selfish. The Japanese make sure everyone's glass is always full, and they refill each other's glasses before they are empty. You should do the same. Also, never start drinking before everyone has been served and a toast has been proposed. Usually, you say kanpai, which literally means dry cup. But stay away from the French chin chin, as it means pecker in Japanese. And we ain't talking about the bird. Be aware, though, the Japanese love to pull all nighters, sometimes returning from work straight from their hashigozuke benders. It's incredibly impolite to reject a drink from your boss. 
and employees in higher positions even get special booze night cab vouchers so they can get home safely after a carouse. Ibiza isn't the only party island. And how does one get drunk in Japan? Luckily for us, Japan is the Shangri-La of tiny bars, and we're talking really tiny. They're more like someone's living room than a watering hole. And Japan has more drinking establishments per capita than any other country. There are 15,000 bars in Tokyo alone. And don't be alarmed if the bartender sneers at you. They're encouraged to be a bit cheeky, since the locals find that a refreshing getaway from the customary Japanese kindness. Then there are the sunakus, which are the exact opposite. These small neighborhood lounges with snacks and drinks are run by sunaku mamas, who act as shrinks to their clientele and keep their spirits up. Pun intended. In Japan, it's not a question of how you're getting drunk, it's a question of where. Japan is the Johnny Depp of countries. It loves booze, and it's always up for something wacky. Now you know how to pronounce shochu, what ikonomi is, and to look out for those lovely snakes in the bottle. Now repeat after us. Kanpai, banzai, sugoi.